Take time to read some of the best emails and social media posts from our viewers from the past week. Of course, we love the good, but we also want to acknowledge the bad, the negative. And one of the big stories this week was Senator McCain's cancer diagnosis. I posted that I wished the senator, who is a true American hero, a speedy recovery. But Jimmy Nash didn't agree, saying hopefully he finally retires. He's caused so much chaos in the world, he is no hero. My God, Jimmy. Just so you know, it's too bad we're on live TV because I'd have a much different response. But to denigrate a guy who was a prisoner of war, who served in our military, and has served honorably in Congress and the Senate, you don't have to like his politics, but my goodness, do this man justice, please. Your comments are hurtful and ungracious. It speaks to this whole subculture of trolls, and frankly, it's pretty disgusting. We got this one from Ken who said, history is the true judge of our military and government, and Mr. McCain will be listed as one of the good guys, one of the best. We also had the death of the ACA repeal this week. I posted, look, you can say what you want about Obamacare, but at least it's something. It isn't perfect, it needs a lot of work, but I get that a lot of people's premiums have gone up. In fact, mine have almost doubled, but it was something. Here's what some of you had to say. Cassandra said, as long as there are billions of dollars to be made in profiting off the sick, the aging and dying, to pay CEOs and shareholders and to gobble up small health care providers, there will never be a solution. I agree. That's why I love our viewers. Cassandra, you are so right. These CEOs and shareholders have lobbyists who are constantly sowing their magic green seeds on Capitol Hill. You're never going to get rid of them, but if you really want to bring affordable health care to the masses, which is what this was all about in the first place, then corporate interests, at least on this one issue, have to take a back seat. Stephen says health care is complicated, and I will say it again. None of our elected reps know anything about health care. Like, it's like calling an electrician to fix a plumbing problem. I think the ACA should be fixed. It's never about doing the right thing, just about what gets a person reelected. And Dennis agrees, saying in part, insurance is the issue. Look at all the CEOs of health insurance companies making 15 to $25 million in bonuses, record profits, billions in profits. Why? Because insurance companies are the vampires of your blood and money. If you're going to have private insurance companies, they have to be regulated. I couldn't agree more. The only question is, who is going to step up to these insurance companies for the greater good, which of course is health care, affordable health care for the masses. As always, we love getting your emails and posts. Keep them coming. I don't always like them. I don't always agree with them, but I read them all and I appreciate the differing viewpoints.